SQL Server 2014 database design. This is Kalman Toth. This is my new book available on Amazon.com. In this short video lesson I will show you how to create a new table using SQL Server 2014 Management Studio. First we create a sequence object. We are going to use the sequence object instead of the traditional identity for primary key. We create a sequence object which is very similar to identity 1.1. Of course we can create a more sophisticated sequence objects because there are more parameters or we can change the start parameter or the increment parameter but let's keep it simple for this exercise because usually when we design a table we use identity 1.1 anyhow. The create table statement should follow a convention for readability. First the primary key in fact, this is a surrogate primary key. Then the foreign keys followed by the attribute columns and finally the row maintenance columns. The primary key is an integer and uh, it is uh, seeded by default from the sequence object. So this is very similar to identity 1.1. The supplier ID is a foreign key. Although the declaration is not saying it's a foreign key but it says references supplier, supp uh, supplier ID that means it is a foreign key and this is a new feature in SQL Server 2014, we can declare an index right in the create table statement. So on both foreign keys we are creating an index to make the join faster, hopefully. I mean we can never be sure that uh, we create an index is actually going to work. Uh, we have to do some testing. The attributes are following product name. Product number is uh, something different from product ID. Usually the accounting department assigns a, a special product number for a product. Quantity per unit, unit price, units in stock, units in order, record, reorder level, discontinued bit. And finally followed by the created date, row maintenance column, created by, modified date and modified by. Let's go back to the structure. So we are using a surrogate primary key but that means we need a natural key and actually we have two natural keys and we place a unique key constraint on it. Its product name must be unique and product number must be unique also. These are the natural keys in the table. Generally in a regular table when you are using surrogate primary key you have to have a natural key which indicated by the unique key constraint. On unit price we have a default constraint, actually we have two constraints on it, and an additional check constraints which says unit price must be greater than zero. For the following four columns we just have default constraints. We assign names to the constraints. Now this is not necessary, we can uh, omit it when it will be automatically assigned. A generated name. However, it is better to name it because uh, the name is uh, 
is better than just an automatically generated uh, identification. Let's go to the diagram tool. This is the newly created table. Let's add related tables. There are two tables related. And one is suppliers and the other is categories. And here is the categories table. So this is the structure of the relational tables. In this case, product has two tables related to it. In the Northwind sample database. This is the end of a short demo.